Bonjour, welcome, welcome back. Today's video is about the queen of flowers. This is also my second name. My second name is also Rose and I love Rose. This is a beautiful spring flower, perfect for spring. And in this video, I'm going to show you the best of the best, the best rose perfume out there for every budget. In this video, I'm going also to present you the different types of rose, rose de damas, rose de taif, rose de grasse. And for each types of rose, I'm going to show you five perfumes one expensive perfume, two iconic perfume, and two inexpensive on the budget perfume. All these perfumes are beautiful, smell amazing, but also my favorite one. So I can't wait to start this beautiful video about the rose. So let's start with my favorite rose, and this is also the most French rose of all. This is of course Rose de Grasse or Rose de Mai or Rose Santifolia. There's different names for this one. This rose grows in Grasse, a small village in south of France between the mountain and the sea. This is a beautiful and a small rose but also more fragrant than the common rose. That's why we use this one in perfume. It's also called the rose of the hundred leaves. This is a rare, fragile, rich and complex rose at the same time. So the smell of this rose is very unique. It's powdery, fruity, fragrant fresh, light, clean and romantic at the same time. And you also get this very powdery, light and fruity notes on the dry down. So now my five favorite perfume with Rose de Grasse. And the first one is Gypsy Rose by Dior Lunch in 2018. And yes, you got Rose de Mai in this beautiful perfume. Uh, this perfume is very underrated, but this is a beautiful Rose de Mai perfume with some green notes on the opening, some dew drops also on the opening, this floral note, a little bit spicy also on the dry down. So the rose in this perfume is dewy, fresh, light, very, very also watery on the dry down, and you get something more powdery, spicy, slightly spicy also. It's an extreme realistic rose. This perfume is gorgeous. Another one, and this is an iconic one, this is Lancôme Idol launched in 2019. This is a sweet fruity perfume with Rose de Mai. Uh, very fresh because on the opening you got a pear, a bergamot, a paper. On the middle notes it's a very powdery Rose de Mai with some sweet jasmine and on the dry down it's a sweet vanilla on the base. Beautiful iconic perfume that I strongly recommend if you love Rose de Mai. The second iconic one is of course Miss Dior Rose and Rose. I love this one. This is a very rock and roll vibe rose de mai. On the opening, it's geranium, mandarin, bergamot. You got rose de grasse on the middle, blend with damask rose. So this rose is fresh, light, a little bit opulent also, and white a musk, clean white musk on the base. A beautiful, non-expensive perfume, but also a classy, timeless Rose de Mai perfume. This is Fragonard Rose de Mai by Fragonard, launched in 1988. Uh, and on the opening, you got a beautiful, fresh, light Rose de Mai combined with Violet, Lily of the Valley, Gardenia, and Jasmine. It's a very romantic perfume with some old fashion uh, vibes. So if you like a clean, light, powdery rose, you're gonna love this one. Last one, and this is Rose L'Occitane, launched in 2018. And you, I know some of you can get L'Occitane even in the USA. This one is great also and very non-expensive. I think it's under like 30 uh, bucks. So you get lychee, raspberry, pink paper on the opening, rose de grasse on the middle with violet leaf white musk. 
This is a fresh, lively, pink and musky perfume. Okay, another type of rose, and I have to mention this one because I love also this one and it's slightly different than Rose de Grasse. This is, of course, the English rose. So English rose are slightly more old-fashioned. The flowers formation are very voluminous. So usually English rose is much more uh, bigger than the regular rose. And the scent of the English rose usually is fresh, light, very, very dewy. There's something super aquatic also in the English rose. It's watery, aquatic and powdery at the same time. So the first one is an iconic uh, English rose perfume. I have a sample here, so we're gonna try together. This is called Saffron Rose by Grossmith. Grossmith is a very old, traditional brand. It's also ultra luxury, so very luxury English uh, brands. I love this one. This is also a niche perfume, more expensive than regular perfume, but their perfumes are super high qualities. And the saffron rose is a combination of saffron and rose. This is a very complex uh, perfume. And the rose in this one is a tobacco woody rose with some saffron notes on the opening. This is a very opulent English rose combined with tobacco, liver and woodsy notes. So I have a sample here of Saffron Rose by Grossmith and I love this brand. I love the perfume. They are super high quality. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, this is a very unisex rose, so if you are a man and if you are looking also for a more, let's say, more masculine, um, yeah, masculine opulent rose, this one is also for you. Oh my god, this perfume is amazing. I never smell a perfume like that, so the rose in this one is very opulent. Oh yeah, and you get amazing notes of saffron. Uh, the second one is of course an iconic one. This one was also the favorite perfume of Queen Elizabeth. This is Floris White Rose and I love to wear this one uh, during the winter. This is a very powdery, opulent English rose, very whitey. Fresh dewy white English rose on the opening and super powdery because of the iris in this one. The third one is also an iconic one. This is Pen Aligon Elizabeth Rose. And this perfume is built around the Tudor Rose. And this is of course the flower of England. And you got azenut leaf and a beautiful vetiver uh, notes on the dryden. So if you love vetiver and rose, this perfume is for you. Beautiful English rose perfume. And the two last inexpensive perfume, but gorgeous also. And I have also this one after a bath. The first one is Yardley uh, English rose so this is a beautiful rose cologne this is a very cologne english rose so fresh light a little bit aromatic on the opening and much more uh, powdery on the dry down so you got rose and geranium white flowers this is fresh soft breezy and powdery this is also my after bath perfume another one i also love and i have the whole collection of this one this is Woods of Windsor, the true rose by Woods of Windsor. This is fresh, light, airy. You got this pink uh, rose, pink English rose, very dewy, very aquatic, and at the same time, very powdery. I have the whole bath shower collection, even uh, the dusting powder. I love the true rose uh, by Woods of Windsor. Okay, the third rose is Rose de Taif and I love Rose de Taif. I just love Rose de Taif. Usually Rose de Taif are a little bit more expensive because this rose is extremely rare and this rose grows in extreme condition in Saudi Arabia in a small village at the top of a mountain called Taif. That's why we call it uh, Rose de Taif. Uh, the Rose de Taif in bloom is full with 30 all rich uh, petals with an intense and soft powdery scent with a delicious hint 
of Tea and Honey. This is a beautiful rose and usually I love Rose Taif. Usually they are my bed uh, perfume or occasional perfume. I am also looking for a Rose de Taif Atta Rose de Taif oil. So if you are watching this video and you know some Rose de Taif Atta, please let me know. Please let me know in the comments. And the first perfume with Rose de Taif and you probably never heard about this brand. But this is a French iconic perfume brand and it was also the perfume of the Royal Court of Versailles. So the name of this brand is Dorin and the name of the perfume is Rose de Taif by Dorin. It combines the traditional Arabic uh, flower, the traditional Rose de Taif with something very powdery and very French. I'm going to say this is a French Parisian version of the Rose de Taif and the two combinations are very interesting. Uh, so you got the Arabic rose um, with something incense and ombrey, so a little bit oriental and it's very opulent with the Rose de Taif in the middle with some woodsy, uh, musky uh, notes in the base and I have of course a sample so I'm going to try. So I have a small sample here and I'm going to tell you what I think, but I will review uh, Dorin perfume, but mmm, mmm, yeah, very interesting perfume. Oh uh, yeah, very French and very oriental at the same time. Yeah, the Rose de Taif is fresh, light, powdery, and you got this very unique tea and honey uh, scent in the Rose de Taif, which makes this rose very unique. Another one which is also an iconic, this is Givenchy, very irresistible and I'm talking about the 2003 perfume and this perfume was also one of my first perfume when I was a teenager. So this is a super powerful, opulent uh, perfume with cassia, lemon, verbena and some anise. And at the same time you got uh, rose de taif on the base with musk. The third one, it's an iconic perfume I also review, I think, one year ago. This is Abanita, and I'm talking about the anniversary version. So the last version of Abanita launched in 2021. This is the red, beautiful, opulent red version. And they put Rose de Taif in this one. And I think the combination of the tobacco livery notes of Abanita with the Rose de Taif is amazing. So as you can remember, Abanita is a tobacco livery uh, perfume and they put Rose de Taif in the middle. You got sandalwood, vanilla, ambery, nutmeg, a beautiful opulent woodsy note. So with the Rose de Taif, this version is more, uh, yeah, more, a little bit more flowery and it's gorgeous. The fourth one is Dark Rose by Check and Speak. So in Dark Rose, you got Oud Taif Rose with some uh, saffron, reminds me a little bit of some mental uh, version. It's sultry, sensual, deep, sexy. So this is a very opulent, a dark rose de Taif with some burgundy uh, drops and velvety uh, vibe. It's a beautiful creamy rose de Taif rose with some woodsy, opulent and sexy notes. And the last one is also one of my favorite perfume. I have this one and it becomes also my bed perfume. Usually I love rose de Taif for uh, night uh, perfume, out perfume or bed perfume. So the last one is Love by Chopin and in this one it's all about rose. You got rose on the opening, rose in the middle and rose in the base and they combine rose de taif, damask rose, bulgarian rose, turkish rose. So it's a very oriental uh, perfume, powdery with violet and some uh, sweet sugary because there's sugar in the base of this one. But it's not cloying. It's not a sweet cloying perfume. It's a very opulent rose and the rose de taif adds something very vibrant, spicy and slightly with the tea and the honey vibe. Yeah, slightly more vibrant actually. So I have Love by Chopin here and as you can see I almost finished my bottle. I love this perfume. I really enjoy uh, to wear this one especially during the winter and as a bed perfume. Yeah, it's very opulent. It's a very opulent rose perfume and I definitely get the um, I definitely get the Thai rose. 
yeah it, it adds something more spicy more vibrant okay the last rose the last type of rose is the damask rose very close to the bulgarian and turkish rose and the damask rose is originally from like you can expect from syria the damask rose are known for their strong opulent and distinctive old rose usually damask rose is a little bit more retro more vintagey uh, than rose de grasse or even uh, english rose it's more opulent more powdery uh, less light and fresh it's very very powdery as damask rose are beautiful large rose and they smell very flowery very powdery slightly sweet opulent and clean at the same time and you got also some lemony spicy fruity notes but usually they're much more powdery and opulent and usually i love taif rose and damask rose as a night perfume so the first perfume with damask rose is a beautiful one this is rose cherry by guerlain and this one is beautiful this is like life in pink yeah this is life in pink so this is damask rose dropped with violet and heliotrope and of course you get this very powdery scent uh, typical of guerlain you know there's a lot of iris and heliotrope in guerlain perfume powdery rose with violet and at the same time it's dewy romantic slightly sweet fully pink opulent at the same time because of a damask rose the second one is also an iconic perfume and if you love rose you should get this one definitely this is rose absolute by guta lunch in 1984 and in this perfume it's all about rose you get rose on the opening rose in the middle roses also in the base so six kind of rose in this perfume rose de mer turkish rose bulgarian rose damask rose egyptian rose and even morocco roses so it's an intensive powdery rose perfume it's like you're really walking into a rose garden with rose everywhere around you at the first spray it's soapy and heavy at the same time on the dry done it's still balsamic with some different kind of fresh roses and on the skin it's like you're smelling pure rose this is also an opulent Perfume. The third one is an iconic perfume named Naima by Guerlain. This one was an old, one of the oldest perfumes in the Guerlain collection and they decided to relaunch Naima in 2021. So in this perfume you got a beautiful powerful uh, damask rose blend with peach uh, passion fruit and yasin and on the base some woodsy uh, notes. So this is a deep burgundy rich velvety perfume with a very opulent damask rose if you love oriental french vibe perfume you're gonna love this one okay the fourth one and it's also one of my favorite uh, french brand this is rose nu by parfum de rosine launched in 2017 parfum de rosine is also an old uh, french perfume brand and they specialize into the scent of rose uh, they make a lot of different perfumes decline around the rose scent and in rose de nu you have the damask rose it's a musky aldehyde perfume with some woodsy node they integrate suede sweden into this one so it's a creamy rose it's fresh light on the opening aldehyde so slightly soapy with some green notes also and it's very sweet ambery livery on the dryden and the fifth one is felicia rose by api chopard api chopard is the non-expensive collection from chopard they are not expensive and they amazing but this one is a blend of damask rose with berries and it's very creamy very creamy fruity fresh and light at the same time so on the opening you got raspberry pink grapefruit with damask rose it's fresh aromatic clean at the same time so if you don't like very opulent rose very opulent rose perfume this one is definitely for you 
So that's it for today about the best rose perfume out there, the best of the best for every budget. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget also to leave a comment. What is your favorite rose perfume? If there is only one to pick, which one would you choose? So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment and I see you very soon for another perfume video. Bye.